Greetings, I'm Cross Knights, and this is Vampire the Masquerade, Bloodlines. In the last episode, I completed the mission and got the Astrolite back, which is an explosive from a bunch of punks. There were no survivors. Now I'm going to talk to these other guys on the beach, and I found out I haven't found any special options if you have high humanity, but apparently there are mean, cruel options that I can't do because I have a high humanity. For example, when I talk to this guy. Um, uh, uh, do you know who the head vampire is? What are you talking about? If the head vampire dies, we all become human again, right? Only in the movies. Oh. But, um, how about blood transfusions? If I get a full blood transfusion, I can become human again, right? Now, if I had a lower humanity, I could lie to him and say, uh, oh yeah, only if it's unicorn blood, and then I could sell him one of my blood packets saying it was unicorn blood. I could also tell him that the head vampire was like LaCroix, and he would go off to try to kill him, and obviously wouldn't be able to do that at all. But instead, I have to be nice or leave. No, I think it's permanent. What? Oh, no. There, there's nothing I can do? Now this is, uh, the blue option is a persuasion option, because I do have a little bit of persuasion. You can try and not let your condition defeat you. But how? I don't want this. I want to be human again. The dead can never live again, but they can survive. Do you understand? It's going to be okay, champ. Now I'm not sure if being nice to him nets you anything. I don't think it does. Being a cruel jerk definitely nets you some cash at the expense of, uh, at the expense of some humanity. humanity. So everyone here is a vampire. However, there's something called Thin Bloods. And let's find out a little bit more about Thin. that. Listen, it's like I've told you types about a thousand times now. We know we can't hunt round here, alright? We're minding our own business. No reason to hassle the weaklings. What are you talking about? You mean you ain't here to run us off? Uh, no. Is that common? We're getting pretty sick of it. Someone sighting domain, or in the worst case, is hunting us for sport. What's wrong with you? Dunno. We all seem to have come down with the same disease. Oh, hell, who am I kidding? We're a bad horror show, alright? We seem to be the runts. The mistakes. You types call us thin bloods. I say we're all equally screwed. Thin bloods? But what clan are you from? Clan? <laughs> See, I've heard all that before. And, and I still don't know what the hell anyone's talking about. I'd like to know just what I've become. We'd all like to know just, just what the, the hell kind of devil's contract we've apparently signed. How'd this happen to you? I'd just come to town for the surf tournament. Seems like years ago, but it's, well, been about six months now. Every night during the finals, I used to hit the local diner after the beach parties fizzled out in the AM. That's where I met her. Met who? She had a natural beauty. Not like all the plastic dolls littering the sand. Her name was Lily. I remember introducing myself, the way she seemed grateful for the company. Well, a few nights after our meeting, we were on the beach alone, and... She tried to tell me what she was, but I didn't understand. And so she showed me. I was furious with her when I took it all in. I cursed her and left, never really knowing what I was. Well, I realise now how she must have felt. So here I am now, a mystery to myself. Hate to break to you, friend, but you're all vampires. That's what Lily tried to tell me. But what I don't understand are the rules, and the terms, and the reasons some of them are at our throats claiming we're harbingers of the apocalypse. That's what I want to know. Are all these others thin bloods as well? Aye. Most of them just recently arrived in LA. Got chased off by the Sabbath or some such thing from their home cities. They're more in the dark than I am. They're a good bunch, but well, they've been through a lot. It's affected them. This Lily, is she dead? Clinically, yes. But honestly, I don't know. I suppose I'd have moved on by now if I didn't think she'd show up one of these nights. There's a lot I've got left to say to her. 
Maybe I should look into this whole thin blood thing. Well, I hope you had better luck than I did. No one's been particularly friendly to me in this city. Only reason we're in Santa Monica is because we haven't been chased out yet. I'll get back to you if I hear anything. See ya. Uh, I'm gonna not talk to the stuttering guy just yet. Well, probably at all. He doesn't have too much interest in you, say. Uh, so let me explain a little bit about this world. This game is based on Vampire the Masquerade, which is a pen and paper role-playing game by White Wolf. And pen and paper meaning, like, Dungeons and Dragons. So there's a whole pretty flushed-out world that this game is based on. And there are generations of vampire. The first generation, or the first vampire ever, was Cain. And that is from the Cain and Abel story of the Bible. Uh, God cursed him with vampirism. Every single time that Cain makes a disciple, they low they have a higher generation. So he made three vampires that were the second generation, and then thirteen from those vampires of the third generation, and that's why there's thirteen vampire clans. One for each of the elders. Now the thin bloods are from the thirteenth generation. That's as low as you go. And now I've just investigated the grizzly murder scene. Well, that's attractive. That'll come up later. Now, once you're 13th uh, generation vampire, you can't make any more vampires. And you're not much stronger than humans. And in some cases, those vampires can even still have children and go in the sunlight. Like, they're barely vampires at all. And there's a legend amongst vampires that eventually Cain will return to the Earth and devour all of his children. Then That will bring about the apocalypse. And one of the signs of the apocalypse are an increase in thin blood, so that's why some of the vampires don't like thin blood. Plus, they usually don't have masters, and they mess with the masquerade. It's this whole big thing. So yes, yeah, so if you're curious about the world this game takes place in, you can look online. There's a lot of information. Tons of information. In fact, in the storyline, I think the apocalypse actually happened. I'm not totally sure about that. They left it kind of open, because since this is a role-playing game, you can run games, and if you don't want the apocalypse to happen, it doesn't have to. But I believe in the main storyline, it happens in, like, 2005 or something like that. But alright, let's go back to Marcuccio. I really hope I'm saying his name right. Oh, open better than that. Now, if you tell Marcuccio that you were going to sell him out to LaCroix, he will be waiting to kill you when you come back. And he's what is known as a ghoul. He can actually do you in if you're not careful. But I did not... Did... There we go. I was nice to him, so we should be fine. Marcuccio? Uh. I got the astrolite back. Yeah? Did you waste those sons of bitches? Yes. They left me no choice. Good. Not entirely Great. true. Hope it was painful. Did you get my money back? Your money? Yes. Yes, I did. Here it is. Oh, you're a lifesaver. I might have to buy some new kidneys with this. And that gave me one experience, which is kind of worth the 250 bucks. What am I supposed to do now? You need to make some place disappear. A warehouse. Looks to be a Sabbat interest. How do I find this place? Uh, there's a guy. I never met him, but I heard a lot about him. His name is Tong. Bertram Tong. He's one of you types. If there's anyone who knows more than me about this city, it's him. Unfortunately, Tong's hiding out at the moment. What? Why? Tong's laying low because of Therese. Therese Vorman, you know her? Anyway, word is Therese and Tung are feuding. I don't know the details. Mike takes that Tung thinks he's about to get whacked, so he's gone underground till Therese calls it off. If you want to put that warehouse into orbit anytime soon, you're gonna have to get Therese to call off the feud. Where can I find her? She and her sister Jeanette, they run the asylum. Some freaky customers frequent that place. I try not to do business there. What can you tell me about Janet? Therese... Therese I don't like, but I can respect her. Jeanette's different. I don't know what to make of her. 
She's a little, you know, in the head. I don't know. Therese is, well, like you. And I would think so's Jeanette. But I hear rumors about her. Rumors? Alright. Jeanette got a body built for bedrooms. And I got close acquaintances says they conquered that territory. But I asked the main man and he says you types, you know, can't or don't or do that kind of thing. Anyway, whatever she is, I hear Jeanette's a wild girl. Interesting. Goodbye. Now later on, since I helped him and was nice and didn't end up killing him, he will open a shop and I can buy things from him. I think. Maybe I'm remembering that word. Now where do I get the key card to this building? I don't remember. Key cards, of course, can't be picked. You need to have the appropriate card, because you can't pick an electronic lug. And maybe we should spend... Well, I have eight experience. I should definitely spend some experience. So let's get more lock picking. I'm gonna take a point of computers. Wits increases defense. No, I don't I don't have enough. I don't have enough to buy anything. I only have two experience left. That'll do. Auto level on. That's not good. Oh, okay, it was off. Okay, never mind. Auto level automatically spends your experience for you. I definitely suggest never having that on. Um Okay. I've probably used up a, a lot of time. So... Can we just go to my next destination? The Asylum. The Asylum is a very cool place. Oh, actually, there's one... Uh, there's one or two things I need, to, I need to do before I go there. In fact, I haven't even been to the side of the city before. Well, let's go to the diner real quick. I'm sorry, this is just going to be like a talking episode, but... Yeah, probably not too interesting to people who've played the games, but maybe it's interesting to people who haven't played them. There's just someone I want to talk to here. This guy. Something I can help you with. It's Rorschach. Uh, chilly out there tonight. I guess. You seem preoccupied. Are you okay? I don't see how that's any business of yours. Whatever. See ya. Goodbye, then. It seems like I was wasting my time. Oh, but it'll come up later. By the way, if you're playing this game, I suggest saving and then attacking him a bunch of times. I'm not gonna do that, however. Um... Hmm. You have What'll anything? it be? Ever see any pale, strange types in here? Late at night? Is... That a trick question? Do you any girls hanging out here? Pale girls? Pale girls. Huh, like the Fitzsimmons albino. Yeah, she hasn't been in here in ages. So, of course, I am looking for information about Lily. Have you seen a couple in here a few months ago? A surfer guy? A pretty girl? Hmm, let me think. Oh, yeah. About four dozen a week. Well, you have way too much eyeliner, lady. I'm just saying. Uh, I don't think those other questions are appropriate, so... Anyway, that didn't get me anywhere. Alright, now I'm just dilly-dallying. There's someone I'm going to talk to at the beginning of the video, and then I'll go off to the asylum to talk to Therese and Janet. Or, Janita. Whatever. Alright. Hopefully that wasn't boring for anyone. I am Cross Knights. It's time on with the story. Thanks for watching.